Hello and welcome to a live story time. The story that Eddie chose today has got one character that's red and another character that's blue. I think you might know what it is. One, two, three. I wiggle my fingers and I wiggle my toes. I wiggle my ears and I wiggle my nose. Now there are no more wiggles in me. I can sit. As quiet as can be. Drum roll. Today's story is called The Smeds and the Smooths. I wonder where they're standing. Our author is Julia Donaldson and our illustrator is Axel Schiffler, the same team that did the Gruffalo. Here is our book spine and our back cover has a picture and a little blurb. Let's start reading The Smeds and the Smooths. By a lunar lake on a far off planet, there lived a young Smed and her name was Janet. Not far away on a humplety hill, there lived a young Smoo by the name of Bill. Janet, like all the Smeds, was red. And this is what her grandfather said. Never, never play with the Smooths. They sleep in holes. They wear strange shoes. They jump about like kangaroos. Never, never play with the Smooths. Bill, like the other Smooths, was blue. And these were the words of Grandmother Smoo. Never, never play with the Smeds. They have strange hair upon their heads. They sleep in funny things called beds. Never, never play with the Smeds. The Smeds on their lake like nothing better than splashing about getting wetter and wetter. But Janet grew bored with this watery play and early one morning she tiptoed away. The smooths jumped about on their humpety heel. They bounced up and down and they never stood still. But Bill was beginning to think, this is boring. So early one morning, he set off exploring. Janet met Bill in the workula wood, where the trockles grew tall and the glompoms smelled good. The two rubbed antenna and played all day long. She told him a story and he sang her a song. Then they climbed to the top of the jerry of the gerberry coot and nibbled its juicy and jellyful fruit. Till who should disturb them but Grandfather Smid, shaking his fist as he angrily said, Never, never play with the smoo. There's such a nasty shade of blue. For the hundredth time I say to you, never, never play with the smoo. Grandmother Smoo was close behind and this is how she spoke her mind. Never, never play with the smed. There's such a dreadful shade of red. I'll say that again, what I've always said. Never, never play with the smed. Years went by on the far-off planet. Janet missed Bill and Bill missed Janet. But off they crept wherever they could to sing and play in the workula wood. The two of them grew and decided to wed. But what do you think their grandparents said? Never, never marry a smoo. They're a beastly bunch. They're a crazy crew. They drink black tea. They eat green stew. Never, never marry a smoo. Never, never marry a smed. My dearest child, are you off your head? They drink pink milk. They eat brown bread. Never, never marry a smed. Janet and Bill stole out that night while their family slept and the swoon shone bright. They clambered into the Smed's red rocket. Grandfather Smed had forgotten to lock it. Bill pressed the button and Janet steered. When their families woke, they had both disappeared. 
the smaid said, Your Bill must have stolen our Janet and taken her off to a distant planet. The smooth said, It's Janet who's stolen our Bill and lured him away from the humpletty hill. The smooths climbed into their rocket of blue and they said to the smaids, You had better come too. Suspicious and scowling, they soared into space. Till they reached planet Vumjum, a dry and dusty place. The blooms had long arms which they waved in the air, but they didn't have news of the runaway pair. The next stop was Lurgelstrop, covered in roses and watered by beasts with small eyes and long noses. They touched down on Grumbletosh, coated in grime. They searched planet Glurch and found nothing but slime. So, one morning the smooths found they'd run out of tea. So the smeds shared their milk, which was pink as could be. Then Grandfather Smed said, My hair needs a trim. And Grandmother Smoo kindly cuts it for him. They landed on Shloop, where the Shloopies wore kilts. Then flew to Klaboo, where the Clabs walked on stilts. They searched all year long, and they searched longer still. But they didn't find Janet, they didn't find Bill. Alas, said the Smoos, and the Smed said, Alack, we have failed in our quest, we had better turn back. So they turned and flew home to their very own planet. And far down below them, they saw... Bill and Janet! The rocket touched down and they ran to the wood where the truckles grew tall and the glomponds smelled good. And there in a glade by the rocket of red were the runaway smooth and the runaway smed. They got lost and flown home again, only to find that all of the others had left them behind. There was joy, jam and jumping, then Janet said. Maybe you'd like to make friends with our dear little baby. A baby? A red one? A blue one? But no, the baby was purple from head to toe. They all hugged the smooth smid, their new baby brother, and grandpa and gran even hugged one another. They laughed and they splashed and they danced with delight and they played with that baby from morning till night. They made him a rattle, they made him a flute, they fed him with the fruit of the Jerbury Coot. Then they sang by the light of the silvery spoon, and you can sing too if you make up a tune. Play with the smeds and play with the smooths. Play with whichever friends you choose. Then close your eyes and while you snooze, dream of the smeds and dream of the smooths. What a lovely story that they all were united at the end. This, parents, is a great opportunity to talk about skin colour and differences and how we're all the same inside. If you enjoyed that story, please click the thumbs up button and we 